When Meg Ryan wasn't busy on the big screen, another one of her hobbies over the years has been flipping houses. The actress had purchased more than one multi-million dollar mansion in locations like Montecito, California, only to renovate them and put them back on the market. Meanwhile, her main residence is over on the East Coast, a $10 million New York City condo located in Tribeca. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Meg Ryan is an American actress with a pretty astounding net worth estimated to be in the $85 million range. Despite the fact that Meg has had a very successful acting career spanning four decades, I don't know about the rest of you, but when I read that she was worth that much, there was only one thing I was thinking. Yes! 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 Seriously, though how has Meg managed to amass such an astounding amount of money considering her last major role was probably the 2003 erotic thriller In the Cut? I know you. Detective Malloy. Teeth. Well, besides the fact that she was once so insanely popular as a film star that she was regularly paid anywhere between 10 to 15 million dollars per project, over more recent years, Meg's kept her bank account flush by turning herself into something of a real estate flipper. In February 2020, Meg dropped five million dollars for a gorgeous property in the area of Montecito, California, that she then fixed up and placed back on the market, earning herself nearly triple the amount she spent on it in the first place. After collecting seven figures in almost no time at all, Meg decided to try her hand at property flipping once again, picking up yet another palatial estate in the same area of Montecito for $9.5 million. Of course, whenever she's not busy on the west coast renovating these dream homes for future sale, Meg likes to settle into her own cozy New York City condo. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this time checking out the homes of Meg Ryan. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. We're gonna kick things off with Meg's actual home, a 3,155 square foot, three bedroom, three and a half bath condo located in the Tribeca area of New York City. Meg dropped $9.4 million in 2017 on this condo located in a luxurious converted late 19th century building that likes to bill itself as being paparazzi proof. This is largely thanks to the underground motor core that allows for easy entry and exit from the premises. As just the latest in a long line of celebrities to take advantage of that feature, Meg's neighbors that have put a multi-million dollar premium on privacy to live here include the likes of Harry Styles, Jennifer Lawrence, as well as Ryan Reynolds and Blake Lively. Once inside, a key lock elevator opens directly into Meg's front foyer, featuring a humongous loft-like living and dining room combination that boasts a fireplace alongside exposed support columns and four huge south-facing windows that flood the home with all kinds of natural light. The centerpiece of this home is about as stunning as they come. Meg also brought on British designer Christopher Peacock to help shape her kitchen, which opens up to the main living space and features walnut stained white oak cabinets as well as a double wide center island with an integrated snack bar. Meanwhile, a long hall extends off the main foyer and leads to the bedroom wing where all three rooms have private bathrooms that overlook the building's gorgeously cultivated central courtyard. Meanwhile, one of the guest bedrooms boasts a massive walk-in closet and the master suite includes a similar sized storage space alongside an entire wall of closets. There's also a windowless bathroom with a marble accent wall. Meg's unit brings with it a monthly common charge of around $4,000. For that extra green, she gets to take advantage of a 24-hour doorman, concierge and valet services, top grade security system, a 5,000 square foot landscape roof terrace, and a 71 foot indoor swimming pool alongside a fitness center. Since moving here about five years ago, Meg has turned this into her main home base 
But that doesn't mean she spends all her time here. She's far too busy on the other side of the country, turning other homes into masterpieces. In February of 2020, Meg would spend a cool $5 million on a brand new mansion in Montecito, California. The fact that she would then sell this property only 18 months later suggests it was always her intention to renovate the home and make a killing in the process. According to property listings, this farmhouse features around 4,200 square feet of space and boasts three bedrooms as well as three and a half bathrooms featuring a gigantic front gate out front, as well as a gorgeous pool and spa combo in the back. This 1.51 acre lot includes an outdoor fireplace, custom built barbecue and food prep co. All of this is surrounded by more than a dozen fruit and avocado trees. Oh, and don't forget about those epic mountain views of the surrounding Santa Barbara area as well. All that, and I haven't even touched upon the interior yet. Moving inside, Meg put a ton of work into renovating this space. Working with local design firm Becker Studios, they added new fixtures throughout and totally overhauled the kitchen in the hopes of turning the home into what they refer to as a jewel box of architectural features. Outside of a tremendous amount of white paint, the home now boasts an updated kitchen with details like a cabinet featuring one-of-a-kind arched doors, a truly gigantic pantry, and some uniquely chic appliances. Over in the dining room, three of the four walls feature floor-to-ceiling windows, cultivating a stunning effect that transforms the room into something reminiscent of a greenhouse. As for the bedrooms, while all three of them feature cathedral-like ceilings, dark hardwood flooring, and furniture that adds a touch of class to each room without overwhelming them at all. The master suite includes an epic stone plunge bath situated at the far end of a gigantic walk-in closet. I'm not 100% sure I'm sold on the location of that tub, but there's just no way I wouldn't be using it no matter where it's located. It's just too cool. After installing all these alterations, Meg would then sell the home in an off-market deal for a whopping $13.3 million. For those of you keeping track at home, that's an $8.3 million profit before accounting for renovation fees, taxes, and all of that. And guess what? After making an absolute killing, Meg decided to do it all over again. Despite nearly being 60 years old, Meg isn't considering slowing down at all. Now she scooped herself up an even bigger project, paying $9.5 million for a brand new property that many people are expecting her to renovate and flip much in the fashion as her former Montecito estate. Meg bought this property shortly after its previous owners had scooped it up in April of 2020 for $5.4 million. The fact that she paid almost double for it only a few months later should give you an idea of just how crazy the real estate market is in this area of California. And when you factor in the pandemic bump, well, it makes a lot of sense that Meg is concentrating on this market. Unfortunately, the details about this home have managed to leak out are slim to say the least. The property is said to include a two acre lot with the bulk of the estate set far back from the road. The main property is a 6,200 square foot mansion that features a detached garage that could easily be converted into guest quarters. And of course, the views are as stunning as her former estate, especially when you factor in the ocean views alongside those rugged mountains. All right, guys, that's going to bring this latest Meg Ryan house tour to a close. What did you think about the legendary actress's home? Would you rather brave the elements in her New York City condo or spend your time in the sun at one of her Montecito renos? Be sure to let me know down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye.